Did you know, the average person spends four years of his life looking at his phone? It's very ironic how these touch screens can make us lose touch. But it's no wonder, in a world filled with iMacs, iPads and iPhones, so many eyes and so many selfies, not enough us and we. Technology has made us more selfish and separate than ever. While it claims to connect us, connection has gotten no better. Facebook, is it really a social network? Well, let me rephrase it as an anti-social network. Because while we may have big friend lists, but the reality, so many of us are friendless. All alone. Family and friendships are more broken than the screens on our very phones. Why? Look there. We sit at home on our computers, measuring self-worth by the numbers of followers and likes, ignoring those who actually love us. And now, the world, our kids, our generation, they seem to rather write an angry post than talk to someone who might actually hug us. When you ask them, let's meet up, and they say, all right, what time you want to Zoom? Or you want to use Google Meet? I respond with OMG. They reply, TBH, too tired to go out. Can we just have conversation without abbreviation? This is the generation of media overstimulation. Chats have been reduced to snaps. We used 140 emojis to send messages. Millions of ridiculous video challenges. Is this the new world? And are we celebrating this? But if we were to step back and examine, we will come to two conclusions. We are improving, we do have a choice. But this one, my friend, we cannot autocorrect. We must do it ourselves. Take control or be controlled. Make a decision or be an old fashioned. No longer do I want to spoil a precious moment by recording it with a phone. I'm just going to keep them. I don't want to take a picture of all my meals anymore. I'm just going to eat all of them. I don't want the new apps, the new softwares or the new updates. Call me crazy, but I imagine a world where we smile when we have low batteries because that will mean we'll be one bar closer to humanity. Thank you. Hey. 
a very good morning to everyone. I'm Irenda and this is my mummy Maggie. Today we are going to recite a poetry entitled My, my Mighty, Mighty Mother, Mother and the Mouse. My mother is not the sort of mummy who will squeal and shiver. Darkness doesn't scare her when it thunders she won't quiver. When I decided to play up, she fixes me with a stare. One flashing look from her big eyes, and I just don't care to dare. I had all the tricks up my sleeve. I could fix all the toys. I could push all the cupboards. I could leave on a sofa with just a single arm. So, it was a shock. One beautiful Sunday morning, when I woke up from a sweet, sweet dream. To hear me, the super mighty mommy, let out a high pitched scream. Ah! I raced to see her perch up high upon the kitchen sink, squealing like a baby bat right on the edge, the brink. I asked her what the matter was. Had the pressure cooker burst? No. Or had the oven scorched your hand? No, no. I did expect the worst. I whimpered like a baby and pointed to a mouse that had the gall and temerity to enter into my house. I quickly laced a trap with some cookies, and then I tried the peanut butter and jam. Thought this would get it with a slam, but it didn't seem to work. So, I pick a broom and shoo at it. Shoo, shoo! I chase it from the kitchen. I smack it in the hall. We, we follow it to the room. room. Shoo, shoo! Oh, how it jumped! And so did I! It made her nervous! It really did! Raising her voice! Oh dear! Oh dear! Get out of my way! Get out of my way! But the mouse knew the best place to go! It jumped! It hopped! And it crawled along the path! We almost wake it sharply, but it, it gave us the sleep. I don't want them in my house. They can hide in the tiniest of holes. The mothers have babies by the dozens. Pretty soon, lots of them will be running here and there. Mommy, mommy, not to worry. With mice, I was at war. I promise you be safe, for that is what daughter is for. Oh, how sweet you are. Just fancy that mommy can get so scared at something as tiny as a little mess. I don't mean to be so rude, but that was the most fun I had in weeks. What? Thank you. Hope you enjoy our poetry. And teachers, good afternoon everybody. It's a pleasure for me to be here. I want to thank you all for attending this song. You are my sunshine. I'm not your one. 
until the fish cook too. Wow, it looks yummy and appetizing. Da.
my name is Hawaii Sam and I am from SJKZ at Chumwan. Tato Bahat Joho and this is my mom. Hi! My mom likes to bake and since I'm six, my mom starts teaching me to bake. And I also like eating nasi lemak. So, nasi lemak is a traditional Malay food. So, I decided to make a special nasi lemak cake. It's done! Now we are going to fry some chicken. Okay, we mix up with the spicy powder. Okay, let's go! Pour it into the wok. We need to control to fry the herbs. And slow it, slow it. Okay. The fried chicken is done. Yummy, yummy. So here are the ingredients. We have some cucumber, some carrot, some eggs, and some tomatoes. Here we have some peanuts and some chicken peelings. Here we have some fried chicken and uh, fried eggs. And this is fried made out of coconut milk and ice cream. Okay. And my favorite sambal sauce. Okay, firstly, we cook the Nasi lemak rice with the pan that to make to become a cake. Okay, this is the base for the cake. And you? I'm going to slice this cucumber into slices. And I help you to peel the tomato to make a losses.
So first, we take the mayonnaise. And spread on the bread. But, if you like mayonnaise, you can spread more. And then we are going to take out the egg yolk. And then my mother is going to cut the egg white and I'm going to smash the egg yolk. And then I'm going to sprinkle some egg white on top of the egg yolk. Yeah. And then we are going to take some lettuce and put it on top of the egg white. going to cut the cucumber and the tomatoes. So we are going to put the cucumber on top of the lettuce. And now we are going to cut the tomatoes. And then we are going to put the tomatoes on top of the lettuce. And then we are going to take another slice of bread and put it on top of 
the cucumber and tomato. And remember to squeeze it a little bit. And your sandwich is done. Thank you. Thank you everyone. Bye-bye. Hello, it's a nephew. I'm Akija. She's my sister, Adili. We stay under a wild room. Adili, what are you going to cook today? I'm going to start an egg. Oh, no, what is your egg? Uh, yeah, this is so easy. Let me show you. First, put an egg in the pan. Let's pour and start on it.
A few moments later. Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to cook the best dinner in the world. But before I start, I would like to invite the best cook in the world, my mom to help me. Hi everyone. Let's look at the ingredients. You need to have a leaf or bread. One egg. Some milk and some honey. First, cut the egg in the box. Then, add some milk in it. Then mix the egg with a fork. Dip the bread in egg mixture. Make sure to cut block size evenly. Next. Head the pan. Make some butter in the pan. Put the bread into the pan and cook until the bread has two bottom blocks. Legion ready some honey on top. Our needle isn't compulsion will hold some refinement. Now let's see how I make my ultimate metal dinosaur. You need some metal power, some ice cover, and some hot water. First pile, two table good pools of metal power into a gas. Pour some hot water and mix it. Top out with eye covers and give out a crazy deal. Let's rinse big some metal power over the ring. Our liner is ready. Let's enjoy it. Mm, yummy! That's art for today. I hope you will enjoy it. Bye bye! Bye bye!
Hello, my name is Zainab and this is my father and I'm going to sing I'm Still Standing. Today we're going to be singing Alan Walker Faded. Are you ready?
some blue peanuts right flat, some brown sugar, some ginger, sweet potato as natural curry, pandan leaf, and some chassi. First, preparing the sweet soap. Now we need some water. Now we add in some pandan leaf, ginger, and brown sugar. Bring to the boy all the heat. Set it aside for later use. Then we need to prepare the rice bowl dough. We can add some sweet potatoes into the flour as natural curry. We add some water. Mix until well blended. We have to make it until well blended. I'm making bread shape. Me too. This is my fish tang yuan. Wow, you are great, Suki. is coming. Alright. So I will do, I will make another glutinous rice dough for you all. You want to read this? Yes. yes. Okay. Oh, got sweet potato here. Orange. Oh, it's orange. It's a natural coloring. Yes. Oh. Yes. So this yellow rice bowl is natural coloring. From sweet potato? <gasps> oh, <laughs> Why? You are so creative. Okay, let me do another dough for you all. Okay, I add in some water. Okay, mix it well until well blended. <laughs> you want red, is it? Yes. Still in round shape, you see? You can do it in creative way, okay? But still in round shape because Tang Yuan actually represents reunion, symbolize being together. These are the traditional ones. These are the creative ones. Bring water to the boil. Add in rice balls and cook until the rice balls float. Scoop up with a ladder. Put into cold water. Why we need to soak them in cold water? So that it will be more chewy. Wow, you are so smart, Elston. Wow. It looks like we need a pool. It is so cute. Now we can scoop the tang yuan into the ginger soup. Xiu Ding, let's try our tang yuan. Okay. Mmm, 
is marvelous. Wow, it's marvelous. Let's talk to Daddy and Mommy. Okay. Daddy, Mommy, yeah. let's eat some tongue Okay. Hmm. Very nice. The tangyuan are so cute and mm. special. Yeah, they are all very talented. Thank you, my dear. Yeah. Happy Winter Solstice!